Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this video is how to keyword your videos on Pond5. So I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to uh, do your keywording on Pond5 and maybe we'll throw in a couple bonus tips on the way. So I just loaded these two clips up into Pond5 so we could walk through this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on edit. And this is our first clip. It's going to pop up here for us to go ahead and get it on the marketplace. Now, if you have a template which you can create templates right here, you can apply them to a batch of footage. Um, and I have some templates created. And I'll go over that, but it's pretty self-explanatory that you can create a template there and then just apply it to a batch of footage. Um, or two per clip as you need. So I don't have a template for this. So down in the next field, these are the required fields that are starred. And uh, this is where you can pick a frame from your video, which is actually really important. So I like to pick a little frame here that shows a little bit of action with the feet. So I'm just gonna click on that. And you'll see right here, it says it might take up to 24 hours for you to see the actual changes on site due to caching. So once you just select your thumbnail, you're good there. Now, uh, here we come down with the title. And I'm going to go ahead and type in a title. Let's see, POV. And there we go, POV of little boys ice skates on skating rink indoors. And I'm gonna go ahead and just hit Command C. I'm on a Mac and go ahead and Command V. I, I usually make my title and my description the same. Um, I haven't found uh, a, any benefit to actually making them different. As long as you make uh, a decent title, it will work well in the description. Date created, I just leave alone. I don't normally fill out location city unless I really feel that it's a unique location or, or even a location country. Uh, camera, camera model or software, really not needed or necessary. I always select no here on in, include audio and seamless looping no. And uh, I leave, you can make sure your aspect ratio is the same. Um, you know, it's always 16 by nine for what I am submitting. Down here is important and uh, this is where you can uh, label your pricing. And I do $79 on my HD and I do um, 169.79 on my 4K. For the web, it that's a you know it does 50% of that, and there's ways you can go in and set that higher. But um, I leave the auto pricing right here because you can do same pricing for all sizes, manual pricing for each size, or let Pond5 set my price. So you know if you don't want the web to be half of basically a little bit less resolution then you can change it here on pond 5 they're one of the only sites that i know of that lets you do this um, but i don't find that uh, too offensive it's a whole lot better than the dollar 50 sales at uh, shutterstock and the penny sales at getty for the low res so i'm okay with that it hasn't hurt my sales now here's where we come down into uh, applying your keywords and I just X that one out because that was thrown in from my um, video editor. So for keywording, I'm going to run up here and go into keywords. Now I go to uh, mykeyworder.com and this is where I do pick up a lot of my keywords. So uh, little boy ice skating. And um, then I look through here, winter child sport ice boy childhood. And I look through here to make sure that um, all these are good for what I want to use. And uh, I'm just looking through this list to make sure that all of them are gonna fit. And I just, I'm checking the ones that I don't want to use. And this is a really good site because you can add in all through here, all kinds of stuff. And uh, ice skating, teaching, pretty doesn't seem to work. And if I wanted to add some more in here, um, you know, I could like arena uh, or anything like that. Okay, so uh, I'm just 
not talking about keywording, I'm going to go ahead and copy these uh, command C on a Mac. I'm going to come back over here into Pond 5 and I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, command V and just hit return. And uh, this will go ahead and bump in my keywords. I try to get at least 25 good keywords. I'm not so much uh, paranoid with the um, the number that I have as the quality of keywords and you want to make sure your first five words winter child sport ice boy childhood cold you want to make sure that these are really good keywords at the beginning because when you go to use them on different sites you want to make sure your your first keywords are good so if you need to change these while you're keywording such as over here you can add or change in the beginning there um, you need to go ahead and do that back over here on pond 5 you can hit if it contains people um, just you know if you want to I don't really need a model release for this and uh, that is it for um, keywording on pond 5 now I'm going to go ahead and save this right here because there's a big aspect oops did I hit submit okay well before we go any further I'm going to show you this one really quick okay so I showed you how to keyword but let's just say you want to add a, a release or or whatever you want to do here you have to come in here and do this in the first section okay before you edit so you you can select multiple clips if you have them here to add releases to so if I go in there and I hit attach release which I really don't need to for this clip but I'm gonna go ahead and attach some releases so you can see how it's done and I, I click here you can see all the releases that I have and and you know this is the Keeley's heel for me of pond 5 it's just a real pain in the tail to select multiple um, releases for multiple clips because you can't select multiple releases at one time on this you have to do click one at a time and make sure the check box is box is checked so I'm gonna go ahead and type in a release here and hit update and then I can pick what release goes and then I hit execute okay and it will go through a little screen and I'll close that and it will go ahead and refresh here if it's awake and you'll see over here that I have one release right here and I can check that release oops I can usually check it by hovering over and see which release I have. It usually pops up there, um, but it's not. But I'm going to add one more release. So that means that I have to come back over here and select this clip again in order to add another release. So you're, it's a, you know, it's a two-step process that you have to do for every single release that you need to upload with Pond 5. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to tick Attach Release, and I'm going to put... Alexander I'm gonna hit update and I click on that and hit execute and you're gonna see it go through the same process and now I have my releases all there okay and then we can go into the the edit tab right here okay so you know I hope that's clear um, on that so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use these same keywords because they were good all had to deal with ice skating at an ice rink okay mother lacing up ice skates for little boy to go ice skating in winter and i'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste that in there and then i can pick my frame and i just look you know i really love this option like i said i wish all sites had it so i'm going to pick that one Come down here and say no. Pricing 79. And uh, there we go. And again, don't forget you can change your pricing here for your web if you so desire. Um, I recommend leaving it alone. I'm going to go ahead and copy these keywords. I'm going to come back over here and Command V, paste them in there. And we should be good to go. Okay and that is it and again you can check uh, contains people and you can get drilled down in there a little bit further it doesn't hurt to add I just never really add any country or location or camera unless I really feel like it's a value to the buyer uh, that would it would be important for them to know that 
and then you come down here and you just hit save and submit for review and that is it now on your bonus here uh, we have all these clips done I'm gonna just go ahead and refresh to this and I'm gonna show you how to prep this now that you're done I always start with pond 5 and now that you're done watching that I'm gonna hit um, apply CSV and I'm gonna show you how to get a CSV file ready for all the other sites once you've done your keywording on pond 5 I'm gonna click on video and I'm gonna hit download CSV and you're gonna see a mess on my desktop in just a few minutes because I'm gonna minimize this and show you how to export everything for um, other sites to use uh, CSV data with so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna double click this okay and I'm working on a Mac so this is opening up in uh, numbers I believe and uh, it can work on anything you can go through the same steps and the CSV file is opening again excuse my mess behind and you don't need to see the files down below but what I'm gonna do is you're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom and down here you'll see the two clips I just did so if I highlight the box above that and just come across here now I'm gonna scroll all the way back up to the top so I'm gonna grab my little slider which is right here it was a little below there and grab it all the way up and I'm gonna hit uh, uh, shift hold down shift and click at the top it's gonna highlight everything and then I'm gonna go up to file table and then add go up to table and just delete rows okay so boom you're gonna see something happen here and the only thing I'm gonna have left are the two clips that I just did Now I'm at the bottom sorry it's clipped off the screen but I'm not gonna take you through walking what you want to do for your CSV file for uh, Adobe for um, video blocks and for Shutterstock okay so for first I'm gonna just work all the way across on file name you want to take off original okay uh, copyright you can delete this column just follow these steps as you see me doing them delete this column and here you want to use title otherwise you won't have anything when you go to Adobe you'll have to T I T L E will help and otherwise you have to put in a description if you don't have that change there now you can come over here and you can delete this field you can delete city you can delete region you can delete every field that you see me deleting you can delete okay so don't panic uh, all the other sites do not need this okay now there's keywords I'm at the bottom sorry I'm off screen but I'm just scrolling over here you don't need the keywords checkbox uh, you don't need public bin and I just use description and keywords that is it okay and then you just go up to file export to CSV and name it as you want uh, and just hit export that is it friends and you can use that CSV file to load up to the other sites I really hope you found this useful if you haven't submitted go ahead and do so I'm running out of time on my video and we will see you in the next video thank you for your support